Hey ho survivalist! Are you on the current? If yes, we'll take a small look on the electro tutorial. So, please stay charged. First of all, of course, we need some nice energy resources. The most common tool to work with is uh, this trap wire, this um, wire tool. With this we can connect the different devices. So first, really awesome is this um, green clean power solar panel. You can craft them really fast and uh, usually you find some of the solar, solar uh, cells um, in the trader. The first one will be a little bit expensive, but I can tell you this is really awesome in combination with the battery because you don't need to refuel the gasoline in the generator. Okay, let's take a look. We have here the solar panel. Then there also exists the generator. It's working with uh, gasoline. You can find in cars and you can craft this also really fast. And we have the battery bank. You know, this usually is a big USB-C device to charge all your base. So, first of all, let's take a look in how to start this. When you look inside here, you can see the maximum output is here in zero and the sources are also in zero. So what does it mean? Okay, we have here some different kind of batteries. This is a level one battery, this is a level five battery. If, I'm drop, if I drop them inside, you can see now the maximum output will be 29. If I go here, and I will show you with uh, some lumps. Let's use the industrial light. We have here a switch. And then, I'll put it a little bit more down, show you. You can use the wire tool using the power bank and connect it directly with the light or we can connect it first with the switch and after with the light. So you can see now, there is just one input can go to a device. If I try to put another input on it, don't will work. So, all devices can have just one input. If I turn this on, nothing will happen. But why? It's because all the generator, the solar punk, all need to be started. I need to get started. So turn this on, and we have light. Awesome. Let's play some more lights. You can see, here, in a yellow mark, this light is draining 7 watts. So we have here 7, 14, 21, hoppla. Twenty-one, twenty-eight, and usually the switch also is draining a little bit from 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 the energy, so it's the twenty-nine watts. And we go over here, we can see this is in the limit, this is in the absolute maximum. What will happen if we add an additional light here? Okay, let's go and take a look. We connect this with this over here, it don't will work. We can connect this with this here, it don't will work. So what we can do is to remove this here <laughs> and then you can see it's not working. Even if I reconnect this, it don't have enough energy to provide all these lights. So now we can turn this off to open and unlock the battery, the battery slots and put another battery inside. Of course, you mo if m the level from the batteries is more high, it will provide more energy. This uh, level 5 battery have 45 watts and the level 1 have 29 watts. So together it is with uh, 74 watts and half power. So you can see now, this here is providing all the, all the electricity. What you maybe need to know is, if you disconnect all this line, all devices behind will also don't have energy. Next of all, I will show you the generator. You can drop in here some motors 
of course if you have more motors it will also have more more energy you can see one engine is uh, with 50 watts when you start this it's really noisy smoke will come out and it will attract the zombies of course, the other also make a little bit of noise, the battery banks, um, they have a kind of soaring and um, yeah, I think also this is putting up a little bit the heat map. So what we can do now is we can connect the generator with the light. You can see it's just one input and connect this here. Ta -da! And this here can have also a lot of electricity. You can see these don't really work more. However, let's take a look over to the solar cell, the solar panel. Inside here you have the slots for the single cells. You can see now one level one cell is providing 17 watts, one level six cell is providing 30 watts. This is pretty awesome. Just you need to take care about uh, the solar cells. They need to be directly under the sky. You can protect them with um, some some iron bars, iron frames, so the sets and the cops um, they are not they cannot do damage this, or maybe some some enemies, uh, some other players, so maybe just can go there and steal the cells out of it because the cell, uh, the cells are really expensive. So you can open this here, also start it, and the slots are locked, and now with this. You can connect it to this here. You can see these don't have a lot of electricity, but however, for a little bit light, it will work. But now we have a little bit of problem. In the night, these don't work. And why? Of course, because it's solar and there is no solar. <laughs> So, what we can do instead of this, okay, we'll turn off the generator because it's really nasty. Um, what we can use is the battery bank in the night. And here comes the really nice trick. We can combine this. So, in the day, the energy will pass through and recharge the battery bank and provide energy to the light. And in the night, when there are no energy is coming, the energy get out from the come out from the batteries. So you can see this is usually losing a lot of um, energy. So the health points from the batteries are going down and in the day they will get uh, recharged. Let's take a look in the sensors. There are different kind of sensors like the motion sensor and the trip wires, and also of course the the, the pressure plates. <clears throat> Let's take a look first in the motion sensor. I think it's the most common, well known, because this gives a lot of comfortability to the base. So when you have the motion sensor, you can connect this, then you can see um, it have uh, yellow the number from the electricity and this means it, uh, it it is on a hot wire it have electricity when you don't have electricity the numbers turn gray okay in this case now not because it have energy from the solar panel so start it again and the movement sensor you can use put it against some doors and automatically it will be triggered. This is the standard option. When you go here, <laughs> when you go here, you have different options. It's like um, in which case the camera need to get triggered is when the camera can see you, when the motion sensor can see you, can see your friends, can see other players or the sets. 
So in my case, I want they're just reacting to me and my friends. This is nice. This is how many time it takes until the electricity is going through the wire to the to the destination. So I can put this down to one second or instant. And this here the 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 supply usually is set to always. Put it to triggered. And you can see it will just react on you. Put the camera sensor in the direction where you want to have where you want to have your zone. And you will see when you go close in this direction, automatically like magic it will open the door. If you leave the zone, it's closing. So, but now we have a nasty problem. We are here. And in the moment where we cross the camera sensor, it will close. And from this side, it don't will work. To activate the door from both sides. If you like my videos, please leave me a comment, subscribe, and try to hit the bell if it's possible. You can do the following. You're putting a motion sensor on one side, motion sensor on the other side, and then you're going there and you cannot to activate the motion sensor because it don't have electricity. So what you need to do is you connect one with the second and then to the device you want to power. And finally you're putting some electricity into the first camera. So what is happening here now? Is we adjust the camera. We're putting the delivery to triggered. And do the same with the second camera. And you can see, when you come into the zone from one side, it will open automatically. And also from the other side. So you can make a chain. You can make the, literally a chain from different uh, sensors to get activated. Another possibility is like this here, is a pressure plate. Of course this also works. Put here some power on the pressure plate. Making another pressure plate here. And then we put the connection from one pressure pleasure from one <laughs> pleasure plate. From one pressure plate to the other. And then to the electric door. So, what's happening now is this here is provided with energy from both sides. But of course, you need to be really fast across this. Also, this is working with <clears throat> with the small one. So, you can make it something like this here from one to another to the next. You can see what I mean. So all these plates are now linked together. Another possibility are the trip wires. Trip wires are perfect to trigger some turrets and to save energy. So using the trip wire, I connect this here with the switch. You see the trip wire. Hoppla. From here to here. From here to the door. So now when I'm stepping the trip wire, nothing will happen. Why? Because I wasn't turning on the light. Turning on the light. Now the trip wire is hot and it will power the door. Trip wires um, are really awesome because the sets don't will make damage in this if you protect the endings. They don't will make damage on this wire. So this is perfect when you want to put some shotgun turrets. Like this here. Because when you look on it, you will see... 
this is taking a lot of energy. This takes 15 watts. So if you have a complete array from different um, turrets, this will train your battery or your generator really fast. So it's uh, somewhat better just to activate them by by using a kind of sensor, like motion sensor or trip wires. And of course, you can power much more with this one here. Another is the electric fence. I recommend you to don't do this at home. Because this can be really painful. First we need the sensor. And then we will connect it to the fence. And then one fence to another. Of course, with this you can also make a big chain. You can see now this is not provided by energy. It's a grayed out. But if you start to step into the tripwire, maybe more on this side, it's hot. Oh, it was hot really shortly. So let's take a look. Yep, and you can see I have a stroke. Uh, awesome. Of course. If the sets are standing all the time in the electric wire, this will drain the battery or the generator really hard. So now we saw um, I was disconnecting, I was disconnecting the the solar panel. After all this gaming, maybe we can take a look how many energy we was using for all this fun. I see a little bit. It was losing a little bit from the electricity, from the from the charge. <laughs> Also, sometimes it's nice. Hoppla! Oh no! I was damaging my greenhouse. Also, awesome are the timer relays. This year, this year I have a clock inside, so you can go from your battery source to the timer relay. No. and then to the wire. You can see now it's on because it's uh, 11.21 but if you go there you can adjust the time. So the start point here start by standard is um, from 0 to 12. So if we go now here to 11.30 in some seconds this will turn off. Ta-da! Okay that's it, more or less, um, I think is a fast recap about uh, electricity, the different sensors and how it can work and how you can chain them to each other. If this is not nice to you because um, the camera is exposed here and enemy in the PvP can just destroy it with the shotgun or uh, sets uh, can attack this and uh, put it down and finally the doors or the traps or whatever don't will, don't will work even more. I have another possibility for you like this one here you can you don't will find here any other camera exposed it's just I don't like it I have it down here in the ground and how this is working I can show you in another video with this sensor just follow the link just look into this link up here this here yeah there I will show you how to use the camera sensor under the ground Okay, so I so I list. I hope I was showing you some nice new things, and I hope to see you next time again.